okay. This is what I have to work with. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this dark and dreary crowded basement is what I have to do with to do nails, wood paneling, just a bunch of stuff. This is supposed to be my nail stuff. Of course, my cat's litter box, which they always knock the lid off of because they just can't help themselves. So, I have this space for nail storage and then this for nail storage. So, I really want to organize everything and get that together. I'm supposed to be getting a table today. I'm praying that it comes today. I was really hoping that it would come in the morning time, but it is now the evening. Okay, guys, so doesn't look like much has been done, but I've got a few stuff done because I moved the water bowl over here, which I have to clean because my cat keeps putting her paws in there after she gets out of the litter box. I moved the litter box over to this side of the wall because I kind of want, I have to be on this side of the wall because that is the only electric port in this entire room. And so I moved that the little litter situation over there, um, cleaned up a bit under here. Um, took the bag that was over here and I'm gonna go through it pretty soon this is what I mainly did I organized this here so I put a lot of the stuff that I wasn't using like I have like this nail dryer uh, nail polish remover and acrylic remover and I have this little setup here for polishes but None of the polishes that I have really fit on it, but it's so pretty and I really want to find something to use it for. And then I also have my little Ariel and Eric thing. Kind of wanted to have down here, even though it's not nail related, I just kind of wanted to have it here. And then this is like stuff I really need to take to the salon, but because we're in the situation that we're in it has to be here with me but I also was going to give you guys a little bit of a haul in one of my future videos so I'll definitely be doing an Amazon haul really really soon and then the next part is also getting this organized into like how I need it like acrylics glitters uh, cuticle pushers, files, things like that that I have in there. I just need to get it organized in like a way that I can use it because right now it's just a little bit of everything scattered everywhere and it needs to go. And so this is what it's going to be. I'm leaving all that over there because that's mostly my mom's stuff and it's just going to stay there. I'm trying to decide, I really don't want to use that chair because I just it's a long story but I just I, th I think it's 30 so I don't I don't want to use it also this will not <laughs> change pretty much except this I put all my tips that I have here in here and my tip cutter and then up here I have like old designs and stuff that I did in nail school so that will probably go on top of here once I get it cleaned off we're going to um, keep working on it. And then, of course, my cat is fussing because that's what she does. Audido. Audido. Yeah. Why are you fussing? Why are you fussing? You showing the people on camera that you're fussing? Yeah, guys. That's what she does. Okay, guys. So, my table just came. And... I was like, okay, let me go upstairs and get my tools so just in case I can be prepared. So I grabbed screwdriver, scissors to open the box and stuff. Then I saw this, I was like, okay, guys, they were like A, B. Open A and put B on top of I uh, put B on top of A. Literally all you had to do was take the metal part out open it up and then put this wood part on top like this was the best desk i could have gotten because 
it feels sturdy to me it's also metal because I needed to get a metal desk because it floods in here and so I really didn't want whatever desk I got to get messed up because of the water floods and stuff so it hasn't flooded in a while so I pray it just continues to not flood anyway so now I have my nail desk and I kind of put it this way because I need to be able to reach things into the light I mean into the electric um, socket and most of the stuff that I'm gonna plug in like so my light will probably go on this corner of the desk and so then I can plug in my um, ring light over there so I wanted to have enough room to put my ring light up and um, yeah but I also wanted to be close to this section I might move this over here so that all I have to do is just reach in and pull and grab the things that I want so yeah and that's my stand that this camera will eventually go on once I get done cleaning up and stuff. I will leave the link to the desk down below it was I believe it was under a hundred dollars I believe yeah definitely something for beginner beginner friendly like if you're doing this by yourself like I am trying to create your nail studio then this I think this would be good for you because like it's hard um, I'm not sure how it's gonna withstand against acetone and all the chemicals that I use so I will keep you updated on that I was gonna put my marble um, lining on top of it but it looks fine as it is like it's it's a pretty aesthetic on its own like it's a wood grain it's very um you know chic so we got the first drawer up for me to organize first drawer okay and drawer number three because I skipped drawer number two two is just all art stuff and it's really no real fancy way of organizing that But it kind of just turned into like a nail art point too. Alright, this next one is my last drawer. 
So this is the finished result, you guys. I really am just going to stick to this area. I put the things that I need the most on top, like my monomer, acetone, brush, and all that. As you can see, I do have my tripod up there so that I could film for you guys. I did also put the marble down. It doesn't look good in person, but it looks great when I'm taking photos or when I'm doing live videos. So I kind of like it, kind of hate it, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep it. And then this is the drawer systems, my nail tip jar thingy. <laughs> I put it together, and I don't know. I kind of like it, guys. Um, this is just what I'll have to deal with for now. You can see my warmer in the back. But thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you stick around for my next video. Bye.